Carson Mingle from ActiveTVNetworks.com. Today we're talking about Rip Tiger. I've got this thing that I gotta do for a friend of mine. He wants me to rip a video from one of his YouTube accounts. He's currently away and he's asking me if I can find a way to rip his video. I knew exactly where to start and I figured I may as well do a video tutorial on this. Rip, rip, rip. Where are we going? We're going to riptiger.com. You're gonna see this Rip Tiger Ultimate Utility and let me go and load their corporate site. Now, what's Rip Tiger? They're the world's number one downloader for web video and TV. Now, is that a fact? I'd say so. They will capture a video stream from CNN, YouTube, Vimeo. I have not come across any websites that this piece of software wouldn't rip a video from. Now you can also take something else away from this. If you're a designer, if you have your own web business and any of your clients say, hey, can you protect my videos? The real answer is no, you can't. Uh, and that's what I tell my clients. I say, you know, even though we do have our TV players and we've got the uh, all the sophisticated tools and encryption utilities and everything already embedded into our websites, so no hacker can get in, these utilities do exist. If there's a will, there's a way. Somebody will find a way to rip it. Usually it's backup purposes. So this is why you can tell your client, we will do our best, but if somebody is smart enough, and he's persistent enough, he will find a way to rip your video. And that's it. So now let's take a look at this utility. What else does it do? Well, you can download the free trial from their website. It's www.riptiger.com. Uh, it captures and downloads the video. Imagine there's a CNN feed being streamed live. It's gonna start downloading and ripping the video and putting it all together. These companies go into trouble in spending millions of dollars and setting up servers and infrastructures to stream the video, not progressively. You've got a server here, a server here, and a server here, and there's a video file that sits on every one of those servers. When you connect to a website and you're about to stream a video, what it does, it takes a little portion from here, a little portion from here, a little portion from here, and it puts it together for you as you're streaming it. In theory, the file doesn't really exist. This piece of software comes along, it intercepts all these packets from all these servers and these computers, and it puts it together and it captures it and starts saving it, you know, as they're being put together for you in real time. So that's how RipTiger works. I'm just gonna go and show you guys how to do it on a video that I need to rip for backup purposes and I know the owner of the video, so it's okay. We already have this utility loaded. Go to YouTube and we're gonna find a video that we're trying to rip. I have to rip this video right here. It's for an interview that I've done. Let's ensure that we go and get the best feed, which is 720p. If you look right here in the corner, automatically, Rip Tiger starts ripping any video that plays in the background. Now you can go and press this little red uh, hand right there and it will stop it. Now I stopped this one because this is a lower version and I know this because it's got a little flash icon and it's only five megs. It's ripping this one and this is an mp4 file. mp4s are usually used to stream HD on YouTube and as you can see it's 31.1 megabytes. So I'm going to demonstrate this one more time on another video. Let's say this one and keep and an eye out And it's time we here. talked about the force called grab. See, so it starts to download it right away. We'll let this finish, it's 3.4 megabytes. And the great thing is, is that you don't need to have the video open. You can just browse through any websites on the internet and as long as there's a video playing, it's gonna start ripping it. Now, I don't recommend you going and abusing the software. It's not meant for that. If you're gonna go rip any video, make sure you have the permission of the owner of the video. There's nothing like uh, receiving a letter from a, from a lawyer or even YouTube telling you that you're liable for any losses. And I've, I've gotten one and I've seen my clients and investors getting them. And trust me, it's, it's not a pretty sight. You know, pardon my French, you're, you're peeing in your pants. That wasn't really French, but who cares? So now that it's downloaded, I'm going to click this little green button, turns the Rip Tiger on or off. So now I can freely browse different videos but Rip Tiger is no longer going to rip them because it's turned off. If I were to turn this on again, again, it would start ripping any video. Now I'm going to go and open the files. I'm going to go and click sort date and get the last one, which was gravity for kids. So if I right click and play this, I recommend VLC media player. It and it's time we talked about the force called gravity. Your video. Let's see if the video that I wanted is downloaded. 
in full screen, and here it is. It's playing. Best idea ever. Video is by Arpan Jolly. You can find him on YouTube. He is an awesome 3D animator uh, and a business owner and entrepreneur. So look out for him. And uh, if you guys want to watch an interview about him, go to youngentrepreneurshub.com. And now I can go and add this uh, video to my production and render it out. That is how do you use rip tiger to rip videos off the internet you may also want to check out my video on how to rip audio files from SWF files which are flash that's also on my YouTube and Vimeo account so if you like this video subscribe I'm gonna have a lot more usually I add videos as I have projects that come in or my guys don't have time to work on the projects that I assign them if you have any questions go on activetvnetworks.com go to contact us uh, one of my HR people will pass it on to me if it's meant for me and and if you guys want to go and look up any source codes or any additional videos, visit our article section. Uh, go to video workshops and tutorials and we're going to be posting most of these videos there. Source files and videos and everything else that you need. And if you want your own e-store, if you want your own social TV platform, visit ActiveTVNetworks.com. Thanks again. Marcin out.